What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we are going to go ahead and cover Legend Bon Clay in Pirate Rumble and see how he performs. Now Bon Clay, ah, man on paper, I'm not the biggest fan of this unit on paper but I am excited to see how he does perform nonetheless. So this is a pretty typical you know offensive side team, this is the normal team that I would typically use, although Bon Clay is typically replaced with, uh, you know, German Double Six or Straw Hats, usually German Double Six is the character I like to use, but let's go ahead and see what Bon Clay actually does in Pirate Rumble, so his passive gives all of your side teammates guard percent up level 5, crit percent up level 5, and HP up level 5, so he does allow your, your, uh, your side units to get a bit more tanky, which is good, I like that at least. And his special is interesting, allowing your side teammates to get some critical percent up level 7, blow away percent up level 7, and also guard percent up level 7, but then also provide some offensive capabilities, targeting 3 enemies for 3500 fixed damage. On a 27 CT is pretty respectable, so he doesn't really provide defense, right, like Germa would, but he does still provide, you know, pretty decent other abilities that can help you out. So I am interested to see how he performs. At least his, uh, his attack patterns aren't the best. He does resist special bind, which I don't know if is going to come up at all. Uh, and actually, that is a bit of a typo. That should probably say reduce damage taken from in by a certain percentile, which is interesting. His stats actually aren't the greatest either. Only 7,600, nearly 7,700 HP. That should definitely be a bit higher. Um, so, I don't know. On paper, it seems a bit odd. But let's see how he goes. Let's see what he's able to do in Pirate Rumble today. Let's find some matches. All right, so here we have uh, this guy who's just got a jam-packed quick team. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully, this is a really good match. Um, but we see this, this is relatively optimal quick. I mean, I don't know why Sengoku's on the bench. That's a bit of a weird call. But, uh, you know, Wano Law just kind of handles this by himself. But we are interested to see how the performance of Bon Clay is going to affect the overall team. And just let's see if whether or not he's going to be an optimal addition to the team. So let's see what's going on here. I mean, in terms of CT, our CT isn't incredible high, which obviously does kind of suck, but, you know, Wano Law still does what he does. He's an incredible unit in and of himself, just providing buffs to us, debuffing the enemy, of course. So, we are going to launch our special pretty quickly here. Akainu is actually the first character to launch the special, losing a lot of health there on, on our Eneru. That's a big bummer. The fact that Akainu is sitting at the front there is really annoying. Unfortunately, didn't get a KO with the Yamato special. Now we get the Toy Soldier special, still no KO, would have been awesome if we had one by now, but Bon Clay, he might get one. All those buffs, 3500 fixed, really, really nice. And the Kaido is gonna, uh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, we just hold on there, our characters are just holding on. Uh, someone's dead here for sure. Okay, so Law's dead, but Smoothie coming on is pretty good. Smoothie is a very good PvP recruit character. Luckily, still holding on, and somehow we are holding on. This is going to be really good, though. We get even more attack. When Smoothie launches her special, this is going to do so much damage here. Let's go, Smoothie! Yes, sir. Very good. Getting two KOs there. Uh, this should kill someone, too. Okay, so NL and Mr. 2, unfortunately, did get KO'd, but, you know, we don't run... We're not running Germa this time around, so we don't have, like, a lot of defense, uh, like what they would normally provide. That Kaido is just barely staying alive. And unfortunately, he had to hit Kaido, didn't he? Well, at least he's not launching his special no more. That's a little bit of a benefit to us. But at this point, yeah, just uh, 2v5. Yeah, this they can't... Oh, there you go, you're dead. <laughs> Bye! 24,000 damage to Whitebeard? God damn, dude! Sheesh. Yeah, Yamato's a lot of fun. She's really good. But even still, um, a lot of those really cool beneficial buffs, I don't know how useful those buffs were for us in this team example here, but the 3500 fixed that can guarantee hit three enemies is really clutch, especially against super defensive style teams. Now, I know for sure that this is not going to be a successful team to challenge against. If you guys don't know, during the last championship series, this defense team was terrorizing everybody. And there weren't actually too many teams that could 100% clear this. This was a very difficult team to come up against. Um, I typically would always avoid it. However, I am interested to see if anything changes 
whilst running Bon Clay for this team. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but I want to see how the team performs against it either way. I'd never used the side team against this team before, so this is also a first for me. Um, but one thing I am worried about is defense, because we don't really have the capabilities of tanking a lot of damage. And this team that we're up against can output a lot of damage, especially with Final Tap Kid on the bench. That is going to be hefty. Jack on the main line. Six plus Jack might actually be one of the best PvP units in the game. That unit is an absolute tank uh, with his special, really low CT, really good health cuts, buffing all characters. Just an absolutely monstrosity of a unit. Uh, really annoying to deal with. Luckily, he didn't launch his special there, so that's good for us. Yamato, who are you targeting? Oh, did target Luffy. That's actually kind of nice. We want to get Luffy down. Oh, here we go. Bon Clay. Oh, unfortunately did not target Luffy. That would have been super clutch there because it probably would have killed him and set his revive already. That would have been super good. Oh, NL's already launching again though. I don't know. I don't think Luffy died yet. No, he hasn't launched his... Uh... Oh, here we go. This is going to hurt. Good damage and he's going to put Law to the top of the order there. He's going to do some damage against us. But actually, we're, we're doing pretty good so far. We're kind of lucky because Jack kind of screwed up and wasn't... Oh, the, the blow away is kind of helping, I think, with uh, helping, uh, you know, knock back that... Uh, knock back Jack so he isn't launching his special at the right times. So Luffy's now dead and has now set his revive. This is going to hurt. Oh, my God. Final Tap Kid is such a pain, dude. Okay, the defense lowering is super useful here. Actually, is Yamato about to launch her special? Oh, we got it. Yes, sir. Very nice. Okay, so that is a GG. Surprisingly enough, I'm actually kind of shocked we got the win there. I think it was all because of Jack not being able to launch when he did, because if he launched a little bit earlier on in the fight, that would have been a lot more in favor of the enemy team there. So that's surprising. I mean, Bon Clay was the only character to go down, unfortunately, but hey, very, very useful special ability that definitely helped out. So I am pretty intrigued to see how we go against the Slasher team because the Slashers, I'm not the biggest fan of the Slasher team because they're not good defensively. But at the same time, if they are able to launch their specials and specifically talking about Roger and Newgate, dude, it's a wrap, man. Roger and Newgate special is so powerful. Like Roger and Newgate has such a good unit by themselves. They basically carry the Slasher team. Actually, oh, actually wait, one thing I didn't know. Okay, no, there, there is Odin. I was going to say, is Odin on the team? Odin is definitely on the team. When six plus Odin is able to be used more commonly, man, I think you got to watch out for the Slashers. They are going to be an actual problem. Um, but of course, I mean, look at the like 11 health, three defense. Like, it's not the best, but it, it's definitely not the worst either. Let's see how we go here. Kizaru always launching a special first. It is what it is. We really want the, uh, the NL, though. Where is NL? I think he got knocked back, though, really early. So that kind of hurts us a little bit. Defense reduction. I guess the side team do have that innate benefit with NL and Rebecca debuffing slashes. That definitely helps us out a lot there. So they've already lost a lot of their health. Roger Newgate do have their special, though. Two people are dying. Told you told you two people were dying and unfortunately it's literally the two characters that debuff slash the most that is absolutely wild all right let's see where this goes from here because i really don't know how this is going to end okay bentham what you doing bro nope still not dead wano law okay we got rid of cracker we got rid of their ct increase unfortunately oh no yamato is going to launch that's massive bye bye Yep, guaranteed two hits, kills, and uh, I think it's pretty much over. Odin is dead. Unfortunately for them, Odin wasn't able to launch this special. This is going to kill someone, probably. Oh, okay, we tanked that. We tanked that. Eaten up. Yummy scrumptious. This will kill someone. See you later, alligator. And all is left is Kizaru, regular hit by Wano Law. So yeah, scary unit, that white bit Roger, because a guaranteed 30% health cut on all enemies, and then two characters for two times attack that go through defense. Super scary special. Slashes are a scary team, but you know, if you're able to launch specials effectively, like it's just a wrap. So with all of that, that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.